Hi guys, welcome back to Galaxy S3 Tips. I just have a few more general tips that I wanted to show you in regards to the Galaxy S3, of course. Now, the first is how to change the text that you see that appears at the, on your lock screen, where Samsung has cleverly written hands of my phone as opposed to off. Um, it's easy to change that as well as the quick launch icons you find at the bottom, which are especially handy just for launching directly into apps instead of having to fiddle around with menus on the phone to reach them. Now to change both those options, we just need to go to settings and then we go to security. Now within security, if you click on owner information, you'll be able to change the text that appears on your lock screen. We can correct Samsung's snafu um, or we can remove that text entirely. Go back one menu and you'll have, again within the security section, you've got lock screen options. If you tap there, you'll see at the top here we've got the shortcuts. Now that obviously refers to those quick launch shortcuts that I showed you in the lock screen just a second ago. You can turn them off entirely with that toggle or you can tap on shortcuts here on the left to make changes. Now if you just tap on one of these icons, you'll get your list of apps and you can you can replace you can replace your uh, your icons. I'm just going to set that back to what was it? To camera. It must have been camera. Um, again, you can also tap and hold an icon to either put it in the bin or move it around if you want the um, obviously if you just want them laid out differently. You only have the option to have four quick launches though, but that should probably be enough. Um, otherwise, you can always install a third party lock screen. Now, I also want to show you one of the options that, uh, that Samsung has installed for their keyboard. It's a swipe style keyboard. I'm sure many of you are familiar with swipe. It's a keyboard that allows you to sort of swipe through all the letters within one word instead of having to type each one out separately. To activate it, you can, you can go into your messaging app. The easiest way is probably to go into your messaging app and then click, tap on the gear icon in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, then over here you've got continuous input and you want to make sure that's selected. Once it's selected, if you go back to your messaging and you open up your keyboard, you'll be able to test the new keyboard by just swiping through all the letters in the words as, you try, as, you, as you're writing them. It's really simple, it's really easy. It's not quite as good, I find, as the original swipe keyboard. You don't have the same shortcuts for sort of selecting all text, copying or pasting, um, but it might do the trick for those of you who are really missing it. Otherwise, you can of course still install Swipe, although some S3 users have mentioned problems with the installation. However, if you go to galaxyS3tips.com, you'll find a blog post dedicated to the installation of Swipe, and it'll show you how to proceed with installation, whether you're having those initial problems or not. Now, to speed up the home button, um, there's, there's a really simple trick. Um, many of you might have noticed that with the standard settings, I'm just going to put it back to standard, there's a bit of a lag between pressing the home button and actually getting back to your home screen. That's because the phone, by default, is checking to see if you, you press it a second time because that's the trigger to launch S Voice. But if you want to disable that lag, and you just want it to have a bit of a snappier performance, you can open S Voice, go to the settings, and uncheck this first checkbox, which says launch S Voice by double pressing the home key. Now, it's a lot quicker, and you can see an instant change, which is pretty fantastic. There are other changes you can make to the menus, specifically the settings menus, to speed those up or slow them down and smooth down the uh, smooth up the uh, smooth up or down whatever way you want smooth up the animations. Um, open your settings menu and go to developer options. 
once they're there, you've got Windows anima sorry, window animation scale and transition animation scale. Now, the window one will affect the speed and smoothness at which this window here, or any other like it, will appear. I've got mine set to 0.5, but by default your phone will probably be set, set to 1 times. To demonstrate, if I change it to 5, you'll see how slowly that window appeared on the screen. I'm going to set it back to 0.5. Transition animation is between full menus, so if we change that to 5, and we go back, you'll see how you see how slowly it changes the menus. So I'm just going to change that back to 0.5 because I'd, li I'd like to keep it having some sort of animation, but I also want it to be quite quick. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to, is it just actually a shortcut for for calling or texting your contacts. Uh, many of you will be familiar with this already from previous versions of Android, but if you've got your contact list open, uh, you, can con you can start a call, you can initiate a call, or start a text message really easily just by swiping on the contact in one direction or the other. So left, uh, sorry, right will initiate a call, and swiping left, uh, left over the contact will start a new text message to that contact. It's pretty simple. There's Samsung's also got something called Direct Call uh, that's specific to the Galaxy S3. And what that is, is the phone basically recognizes when you lift, the, when you lift it to your ear, provided you're on a contacts page or you're in the text messaging app uh, writing a message, a reading message from that contact. So if you hold it up to your ear, the phone automatically recognizes that you want to call that contact and initiates the call. The same again is true from the messaging app. So let's say we've just received a message from Batman that says super in trouble. Damn, we need to call him quick. So we lift it to our ear, supposedly. Oh, that's right. It's not working because I'm actually using Go SMS Pro. Um, and this, this action only works on the stock um, messaging app um, that explains it. So if we're using the stock messaging app and we get Batman's super in trouble message Oh, what did I tap? Obviously it works better when you lift it to your ear and you don't have your palm hitting the screen um, but it tries calling straight away anyway. So that's a pretty nifty feature um, and it's just it just sort of makes sense to, to do that. Finally, I just want to show you how to mute the phone really easily, um, provided you've got it set up. Um, there are two ways to mute it, um, but first we just want to make sure that the that this these options are activated. So we need to go into the motion section of our settings menu, and down here at the bottom, we want to make sure that turn over to mute slash pause is active as well as palm touch to mute. These are the two ways to mute the phone, whether it's music playing or your ringtone. Um, really handy in an office environment. So let's say we've got this music playing. If you touch your palm, you need to make pretty good contact with as much of your hand as possible, so it recognizes it's your palm. Uh, it'll just mute the track or mute your ringtone. Or the same true with this private number that's calling me now, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Bear with me one second. Hello? Yeah? Right. Um, sorry, where were we? Apparently we were calling the police each time we were trying to call Batman by mistake. Whoops. So, um, back to muting. So, if you've got the music playing, you can also just turn the phone over to mute it. Um, that's basically it for these tips and tricks. I hope you've found them useful and um, that you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.